I've been in the position where I think we all have, we're on Instagram and we're scrolling and we follow fitness models and to say, I want to look like her or I want to have a body like that. I'm working out four or five, six days a week. I'm dieting. Why don't I look like this person or why am I not seeing six packs, you know? And, and I think that this generation, we want instant gratification. Um, we don't know the supplements that are involved. We, we want to look like all these women that we see. And I've been there. I've had self-doubt. Why don't I look like her? I'm putting in the work. And you know what I've learned over the years is that you don't know what's going on behind the scenes with them. You don't know what's being photographed. You don't know how long that they've um, dieted for that one photography session. Uh, you don't know what supplements they're taking. So I've tried to learn to just focus on myself and not worry about what I see on Instagram because unfortunately we're in a generation that you know, it's at our disposal and we see so much. And unfortunately, not everything that you see is realistic. So um, my biggest advice would be to just focus on you. Don't worry about what you see with other women um, because you're beautiful just the way you look. If you look good, if you feel good, that's all that matters at the end of the day. My name is Reese. I served in the Marine Corps from 2006 to 2010. So I was always active, um, but I never really was in the bodybuilding industry until I got out. Um, once I got out of the Marine Corps and I moved to Orlando, started going to school, um, single parent. Uh, I was married at the time, but I was going through a divorce and the divorce kind of put me through a lot of stress and I was trying to find my myself. I was trying to find out who I was, who is Reese. Um, and at that point, I started getting into working out and I decided I'm gonna do something for me. And then once I started working out, I stuck with it and kind of fell in love with it. And it started becoming something that was a stress reliever for me and something that I became really good at. A big concept for me too was just focusing on my health and focusing on how I feel inside. Being somebody who's diagnosed with lupus too, I have to really focus on my health and eating properly and um, you know being in shape. If I had advice for someone who was trying to get started in the fitness industry, I would say number one, have a plan and, and stay motivated because if you don't have a plan, you're not gonna follow through with it. If you can find somebody that can help you work out or somebody that you can work out with, it's easier to stay on the journey. But I think that when you start focusing on yourself and you're really sticking to that plan, you're more likely to follow through with it. Um, and also meal prepping your meals and writing down everything. And that's something that if you have something that's written down, you're more likely gonna follow through with it. In this industry and in this generation, we are focused on what we see and you know, we want results right now. We want instantaneous results, but anything worth having is gonna take some time.